Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about inclusive language in translation, which is a hot topic at the moment in the translation industry. Language is an expression of ourselves and each language reflects a lot of our community values and biases, which have to be taken into account when translating from one language to another. Often there are grammatical agreements that have to be made and gender neutrality, for example, often poses uh, many challenges to translators. Many languages like Spanish or French need the subject in a sentence to agree with any adjective, uh, past participle or adverb that refers to that subject. For example, if you translate the sentence, the blonde girl is happy into Spanish, the adjective blonde and the adverb happy, which in English are neutral, will need to be in the feminine form in Spanish. Very often a piece of text in English will use the second person of, of the singular, you, and that's when the difficulties start, especially in marketing texts. There are a few techniques that can be used to achieve gender neutrality, uh, such as listing all the genders in a particular sentence or using the plural, but translators need to be very careful when choosing each technique because, um, as they say, one size doesn't fit all. Uh, there might be aesthetic uh, reasons or character restrictions, um, if it's text for a mobile app, for example. Um, so my piece of advice is for translators and copywriters to have a conversation about gender neutrality or inclusive language in general um, in the text and understand the audience, the expectations, and the challenges when it comes to translating it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any examples of using gender neutrality or any tips, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.